uh, Mo, can you tell a little bit about uh, you know how it all got started uh, with uh, music and that, and uh, a little bit where you're from and uh, where you're at and where, where you're going? Go ahead. Well, I was born in Sudbury, Ontario, um, and from the earliest day I can remember, I, want, I was singing. I was always singing. <clears throat> Listen to the radio. I used to try to memorize the song, so I would sit by the radio day after day after school and listen to the song with a piece of paper and write down the words and sometimes it would take ten listens to get all the words down and finally my mom bought me a guitar from Sears catalog um, <clears throat> and I started uh, practicing and practicing uh, come home from school with the thoughts I couldn't wait to get home so I could practice some more and when I got home I would be told okay today tonight we have to go work in the potato field until dark Okay, well, practice later. Now I can practice at 8 o'clock. Your homework. Oh, I'll practice later. <laughs> but I kept practicing every time I could, and finally I upgraded to um, two or three other guitars, and finally I got my uh, listening to all country, some French, some English, and I think I remember this song here. I'm walking the floor over you. Where's the stuff song? That is true, I've forgotten the words now. Hoping and praying, our heart breaks right into it. Walking the floor over you. Famous run. Uh, when did you start uh, your live uh, uh, performances? Uh, well, Actually, the very first time I played live was in 1955. It was called Pick Fair Talent Show. And I sang, He's in the jailhouse now. He's in the jailhouse now. Except it was a very high pitched voice back in those days, and I was scared to death. But after that, I started playing, uh, there was a band playing, the uh, na name of the group was Leo Shirley and the Rainbow Ramblers, I remember. <clears throat> and I would sing a few songs every night, and once in a while he'd give me a couple dollars. And uh, we got the bugs going, and uh, from that uh, I met uh, a man by the name of Leo Odette. In fact, uh, sorry to say, he's just deceased a few months ago. Um, but him and I started practicing together, and that's the, around the time I got my Fender Stratocaster, and we were singing a lot of country songs. I would be playing lead, and he would be. Uh, <clears throat> we'd be singing, harmonizing together. Um, and from then on, we started the, uh, there was a fiddler, there was a group called, the well, the two of us and then the fiddler, there was, we ended up in a group called the Country Rhythm Five. And we had a TV show running for a few years in Sudbury, Ontario. <coughs> with, with, with the Country Rhythm Five? The Country Rhythm Five, yeah. Okay. We had a, a show running, uh, was at, on the local radio, a TV station. Okay, this is in Sudbury? In Sudbury, around okay. 57 or 56, 57 or 58. Do you recall the name of the TV show? Uh, the first one, I can't recall, no. It was just, a, it was at six o'clock at night and we would perform uh, after the news for a couple of songs and then a commentary and then we'd do a few more songs. And I don't remember the name of the show was. But then after that, we, <clears throat> we kind of split and got some other people going, more country. Um, and that's when, that's where I met my wife, by the way. And uh, that's when we started, the, the show then was called uh, CK Ranch Party. And that ran for about until 1963 or 64. So from 59 to 64, you're doing uh, television appearances in Sudbury? Yeah. Is that correct? Okay. On and off. For, between 59 and, and 60, it was only like a, a song or two a week. But after that, we would get in much more, more steady, and then it became a weekly show. What kind of audience uh, sizes were for these, for these television shows? Do you have any idea how many people were watching? Or Well, <coughs> excuse me. Um, Sudbury is a city of about 150,000 people. But we used to, the, the show was broadcast on Manitoulin Island because we used to go do stage shows in those places and we'd advertise on our TV show so we would get an audience coming in from watching our TV show. Yeah. So we'd go to 
we probably up to about 75 miles from Sudbury it was caught it, they could catch it so yeah did you get a little bit of fame in, in the fact that people would be coming to your shows and already seen you on, yeah, on, on the what show what I found that what was found that um, strange is <clears throat> those people who would come to see our show even though we were just doing this little show working our day jobs and doing this show in Sudbury those people would regard us the same way as if we they had seen a show from Nashville they, okay it was kind of strange you're right that was strange out where they wanted autographs and they they wanted to buy pictures and it was just uh, the same same way you know this is under under the the country rhythm five is that uh... Uh, no that was after CK Ranch Party okay yeah. Now you mentioned that you met uh, 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 Dorothy around this time. Yeah, what time? When, when? Just a minute. Country Rhythm Five. I just want to say something. Now I remember what we did. We used to play a regular weekly barn dance on uh, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays for three or four years, almost every week. And uh, it's. So that's what we actually were doing yeah. mostly with the Country yeah. Rhythm Five. Now, was this a pay gig for the TV, uh, or is it a you were yeah, doing a small pay for the TV because we had a sponsor for about two years. Oh, okay. Do you recall who sponsored the show? Uh, it was called Salada, Salada Horsey Sheriff or something like that at the time. The name kept changing. Okay, well, what did they sell? A tea. Uh, Salada oh, Salada tea. tea. Salada tea. Okay, and okay. Jams, jams. Okay. Because at Christmas they give us a huge pack of all these different products. Okay. For a present. Lou and I, in the, con in the Country Rhythm Five, were always singing songs and practicing together an awful lot, like two or three times a week, new learning new songs. We were wanting to get into our own group, away from too much playing uh, square dancing, which was a little hard on the guitar player's hand. And uh, <clears throat> so his brother was also a, a good lead guitar player, so we formed a group it was his brother's group called Al and the Nickel City Range Riders, and there was about five or six of us with drummer out the whole band. And uh, <clears throat> we used to, we went to practice at the um, the accordion player's place, and we were practicing. And I remember the accordion player said, "I know this young girl down the street. She's a very good singer. She probably would be interested in coming." down so I guess he phoned or whatever but anyway she came down and uh, this little girl sitting across across the hall as soon as I saw her it's like geez it's been so long since I saw you that was the first thought in my mind and a few years later we were married well when did you first meet what do you recall what year uh, must have been about 1956 57 roughly when I met her. Okay. Uh, from uh, the initial practice with uh, the young girl coming in, when, uh, when did it work out? Were you, uh, you guys were actually in a band? And, uh, well, we did... started, <clears throat> well, we started uh, practicing together a lot. Then we, start, we did a, there was two or three other people who were promoting and we had a Saturday night jamboree that we put in at a local hall every Saturday night. We were getting quite good crowds, so we were doing it like a miniature Grand Ole Opry, you know, MCs and jokes, somebody with jokes and somebody. So it was really interesting. So we practiced a lot for that. We ended up getting our own TV show, and that was called the CK Ranch Party. And uh, <clears throat> eventually, uh, who offered you the uh, TV show, uh, Mo? I don't remember. Yeah, that was I was a I was really a player in the band. The uh, the guy, our friend who was kind of booking us and trying to promote and help us, he's the one who was kind of handling some of that. Okay. So a lot of this I can't remember because I was, I was maybe maybe I was more interested in the little girl 